Okay, tell me when you're going to start shooting. I'm started already. Oh. I filmed well, from the beginning because... Okay, so. Okay. Uh, good day. My name is Victoras. V-I-K-T-O-R-A-S dot org, period org, website. You can look me up there and visit me. Over half a century ago, when I was much older biologically, I had advanced arthritis, and of course I couldn't do any of these things. But because of the program that myself and Ann Wigmore devised, you can get younger instead of older. And we teach that among other places, besides here, right in Hippocrates Health Institute, where we are, I also teach that during the winter months in Costa Rica. So come on out there, visit victoras.org, and we would love to share wisdom, knowledge, and fun. Thank you, Victor. And for the, uh, on the behalf of all the watchers, I want to send you a kiss. Oh, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank millions, you brother. Millions, millions, millions of, of thank you for all you do, Victor. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your contribution into a better world. So I highly recommend also the uh, book, the Wheatgrass book by Ian Wigmore, uh, which is filled with all information on how the wheatgrass is so beneficial for us. A question about protein. Could you share a little bit of knowledge about protein, Victor? Well, protein is something that your body has cannot use at all. When you consume what do you call protein, unless you have enough enzymes and if the protein comes in the right form and then it will not be converted without enzymes into amino acids and this is what your body uses when you sprout your food then the enzymes in the food like when you sprout your sunflower mung beans lentils wheat the enzymes that are in the seed they pre-digest it and convert the protein into amino acids. When you eat animal food, you eat it cooked and it ends up becoming disorganized and it's converted into forms that your body enzymes cannot recognize and at best you can digest, maybe convert about 15% of the protein into amino acids. The rest of it feeds bad bacteria, pathogenic microbes that end up creating very bad smells of sulfur, nitrogen, and phosphorus that makes you need to have deodorants, bad smelling breath, and all of that. So you can get from sunflower 20% protein. That's more protein than you get out of meat. And remember, when you saying meat is you know 18 to 24 percent protein it is in a raw form none of you eat meat in a raw form the Eskimos when they ate meat in a raw form and they ate the whole animal they ate the bone they ate the heart the liver they lived for a long time right into the 90s but they died from acidity acidosis that's because of you consume meat you produce acid very high amount of acid waste products when they started cooking in one generation their longevity went by below 50 percent it went from 90 years to 45 years and they had for the first time in the history of Eskimos cancer and heart diseases so when you are eating meat and you think you're getting protein it's a it's a lie it's a myth you are getting very little protein and at the same time you are being poisoned because it's going to, the protein that comes from meat it is going to cause cancer and you can find all about the mechanism in my book survival in the 21st century .com. it has all the documentations from medical sciences you are guaranteed to have cancer as long as you consume cooked animal protein cooked fish 
all of these and all the greasy foods that you are consuming from the marketplace. So start lightening up and you will have more energy, you will be more flexible and happier. Well said. Well, you agree with me that we are herbivores. The length of our torso is 13 times the size of our, the, the, the length of our digestive system is um, 13 times the size of our torso compared to carnivores, which is only six times. Also, their gastric acid is very acidic. That's why they can eat petrified meat. They will dissolve it more fast than we do. And also our jaws, um, herbivores can only do that. Herbivores can chew back and forth, left to right, compared to herbivores uh, can only go up and down. So there's many things in our body that tells us that we are not carnivores, but herbivores. Um, We're very much like the gorilla. Take a look at the gorilla. Similar teeth, similar fingers, no fangs, instead of it has nails. It eats what? Succulent greens. Mm -hmm. And it's the strongest animal. And the fastest animals are the deer, the antelopes. They break the two minute mile on a, without training. And the humans, when you start living and being born a raw foodist, these raw foodist children will break the two minute mile. Excellent. Thank you, Victor. Keep so, up the good work. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, and uh, oh, as you, I have, you have something coming up at the end of the year, right? Well, Maybe. we have a wonderful event that's going to be on New Year's Eve. It's going to be eight, eight nights all together. It's a celebration of the new you. You will rebuild, rejuvenate, and have fun. We have a comedian from the top uh, comedy show in America called The Letterman Show. Mm -hmm. We have the chef that caters to the top model in the world, Giselle Bunchkin. She's a Brazilian model. Her husband is the top football player. And we have also belly dancing, fire dancing, as well as also musical recital. So it'll be very much fun. And then you're gonna get an education with me. Every day, three hours with me and my partner. She will be teaching yoga and we have tours. It's beautiful climate. Costa Rica is the country of ecological consciousness and beauty. And you can see us at Victoras Retreats dot com. Victoras V I K T O R A S Retreats with an S dot com. So give consideration. And if you have any kind of questions, drop me an email. Just look up the websites and there's it tells you how to write to me okay much love you are beautiful and you are by just merely watching this and sharing it with this brother the information and you are moving into becoming healthier happier and holier the three H's God yeah. bless you God bless you we love you so much love you Namaste. <laughs>